Well, for the last three years of being city manager, we've, we've accomplished some things that uh, we set out to do, uh, but there's always more work to be done. There's a lot of things that, that we still have to get accomplished and, and that we're still working on. Um, you know, the city, the city has gone through its tough times for many, many years. It's going to take us some time to get out of that. Uh, but like I said, I think we've accomplished a lot of things. We've started some very big infrastructure pr uh, projects right now that I'd like to see uh, through the end. And there's a lot of other goals that, that we want to accomplish for the city. So that's why I'm seeking another term in office. Well, there's a lot of things that, that, we're, that we're currently doing that I'd like to continue. Uh, first off is obviously the, the condition of our housing stock in the city. Uh, right now, the city is working with the Asheville County Land Bank uh, through the, the county uh, treasurer's office, who Don Cragen set that, that up. Uh, I also serve on the board with them. Uh, they recently got a grant for $500,000 to continue doing demolition of blighted property, most of which will come to the city of Ashtabula. So my staff, in conjunction with the land bank, is working on those demos uh, as we speak right now. Next, uh, of big importance to us is our, is our wastewater treatment plant. Unfortunately, it's been neglected for many, many, many years. Uh, we're seeking about $8 million right now from the, from the EPA as far as a loan. Uh, to do major upgrades at the plant. We're almost uh, rebuilding the plant inside out at this point. And finally, we're, we were just uh, discussing um, our paving project. Uh, we're in the second phase of it now. Um, we, we went after about $5 million through the State Infrastructure Bank, which we secured, and uh, we'll be finishing that project this year, which will bring us up to 20 miles of paved road uh, within the city, which we, we desperately need do you have any uh, streets in mind for this paving project? Uh, we've got several of them. We're, we're finalizing that right now. Uh, but some of the major ones that have been a, a big problem for us, just, just over the Vidoc here on East 46th Street is one, and some in that area, some down in the Harbor area. Uh, but but it's, kind of a, it's kind of a mix of all over the city we, we've been able to accomplish with these. And I think what we did last year, uh, we paved a little over $3 million worth of roads last year. It took care of a lot of the real problem areas. We're also right now working with ODOT to try to get a stretch of Route 20 from uh, Lake Avenue all the way down to Seymour, which is all concrete. It's going to be about a $4 million project. Uh, and the city's going to be on, on the hook for about 20% of that. So we're working through some grants and different things so that we can minimize the out-of-pocket expense for the city and get that part of Route 20 pushed up on their agenda. Uh, hopefully within the next year or two, we can see that paved because it it has deteriorated quite significantly. Uh, have any new businesses or prospects coming to town? Uh, we've we've had a couple uh, that are that have already come to town, and then of course uh, we are building uh, right now. They are building a new location for Aqua in our industrial park. It's our first it's our first uh, tenant in the industrial park, which we're really excited about. Uh, we've had some businesses, you know, open on on Bridge Street. We have a new one coming called Fitzgerald's, which is going to be a wine bar down there. Um, we've, we've seen a lot of growth on Bridge Street. Uh, we've seen a lot of interest up here on Main Avenue, of course, with Signature Health opening up down here. Um, so there, there's a lot of good things going on. And we're also continuing to work on our JET agreements. Uh, we just had a addendum to the original JET in Route, in, uh, Route 20 in Ashtabula Township to include more property out there for a new plaza that's being built. And we're currently working with uh, the owners of the new, it's called the Lantern at Saybrook, uh, at the old Bell Camper site uh, for the uh, for Alzheimer's patients, which which uh, what they're doing out there is going to be incredible. Uh, we're working on that jet agreement right now to help bring uh, those extra businesses in connection with the city and allow them to use our our sewers, which which they need to operate. Uh, and you mentioned a base hardware down at the safe plot. Yeah, we're we're excited about that. Uh, you know, we we do have Busy Beaver in town, but having another one in, in that location with Ace Hardware coming to town, I think I think it's going to be great. We've seen a lot of again a lot of growth in that harbor area, uh, mostly because of everything that the the private side has invested into the harbor. And of course, we did get the grant for over seven hundred thousand uh, dollars to redo Holbert Hill and to put in a public parking lot. And then also for the business owners and the building owners to do upgrades to their facilities, up to ten thousand dollars in grant money, matching grant money. So, uh, a lot of investment, both on the public and private side, has gone into the harbor, and I think that's why they've grown the way they have. Um, our mission has really, with the harbor, has been to just support them and kind of stay out of their way and let them let them take all the glory for everything that's going on. 
Uh, but the, the enthusiasm and the excitement, especially with all the restaurants down the harbor, uh, has really grown. And it's getting uh, you know, notoriety across Northeast Ohio and, and nationally in some of the publications that our restaurants and our coffee shops have been in. It's been, it's been a great experience to watch what they've done down there. Our former chief, uh, Ron Prestira, decided to retire and actually went on to a, uh, another opportunity out in Colorado. So we went through the whole process of the civil service testing for chief. We had two people uh, within the department that, that did take that test. Uh, turned out to be our new chief, uh, Sean Gruber, who was a lieutenant with the police, with the fire department, has been with the fire department for over 20 years, I believe. Uh, and he's hit the ground running. He, he's doing a great job building the morale back up uh, without a leader down there for as long as they've had. They've gone through some struggles internally, and, and uh, Sean has really come in and smoothed everything out. We're, we're excited to have him on board. Uh, police hiring. Yes, police hiring has, has been difficult. Uh, we do we have hired three officers, one of which is doing his training on the road with us now, two of which are in the academy, and we've also hired two dispatchers, which freed up two officers to go back on the road. The last two, we've pretty much exhausted our civil service list, so we did ask civil service to uh, issue a new test, uh, which they are going to do here very shortly, and we'll keep the current list intact until that time. Um, but we've pretty much gone through that list. Uh, we've, we've done interviews, and unfortunately, um, some of them throughout the uh, testing procedures to become a police officer did not pass those requirements. So um, I think out of the 18, we, we, we have whittled through that whole list, and uh, we need to retest. So we'll still have two hires there uh, once that test is given. Well, I think um, there's a couple things we need to do. Um, Again, we need to we need to continue to clean up the area. We need to clean up uh, the blight that's in our neighborhoods. We need to restore that housing stock. We need to make this a community that people want to live in and they want to invest their money in. Uh, quite frankly, you know, when you when you look at some of the communities that are thriving out there, they're bedroom communities. They're communities in which um, recreation is is prevalent. Uh, with our new bike trail coming in, that hopefully will be finalized this summer. Uh, that'll be another piece of recreation. We did secure a grant for new playground equipment down at Walnut Beach. We're installing uh, an older set, but with new parts of a playground equipment at um, Caden Park, West 58th Street Park. So we're trying to do what we can to improve the parks that we have and, and create that sense of recreation and create that sense of community within those neighborhoods. Um, I, think that's, I think that's very important. I think you need to create a place where people want to live. Um, and, and you know that is always, always going to help your income tax base, your property tax base. Um, and we have seen values of homes uh, on, the, on the upswing, not only in the city, but, but throughout the county, which is a good sign. Um, we've seen houses that are, have been sitting on the market for a long time all of a sudden are selling. So uh, I know I have two on my street that boom, boom, they've been on the market for a long time and both sold uh, very close to each other. So um, we're starting to see some good things happen in that aspect, and we hope that, we hope that continues. But we need to create that community where, where people are excited to be here, and I, I think we're starting to come around. I think we're starting to turn that corner. Do you have any opinion on the discharging of uh, waste into Lake Erie by, I forgot what. Asheville Energy? Yes. We've, we've been in, in communication with Asheville Energy for quite some time. We've actually talked to them and discussed to them about running the pipeline down to our wastewater treatment plant where we would do the sampling. We already have an established facility um, and we kind of be that uh, that third party, I guess you'd say, overseeing what's coming down the line. Um, I don't doubt that the EPA will do their job as far as oversight if they end up putting a plant on their property. Um, for what we've gone through with the EPA and the oversight they provide to us, um, they're no fooling around with them. So, so if they're violating at any time, they're, they're going to catch that. Um, because our plant is so close to that facility and what a new sewer line would mean running out that way for development even further down than Ashtabula Energy, I still am a very big proponent of that product coming to us so that, so that we can accept it. We have plenty of capacity to do so. And we're in discussion right now with the company about, about doing so. Uh, the co what they're now looking at is the cost of building their own uh, and monitoring their own and having the staff to run their own versus what we would charge and the construction of that line to get it down there. Um, right now, I think we're winning that battle. So it's again, it's a jet agreement and uh, we're having discussions with them right now about that. Bottom line though, when it comes to that project, we will not hold up their progress. If they have to build one on their property, so be it. Uh, but if they can get it to us, we will do whatever we can to make that jet agreement beneficial for both the city, the township, and of course the company um, to locate here. We need as many jobs as we can get. 
Uh, but I know there's a lot of concern about what this, what this byproduct would do to the environment. Um, there again, I would only say from what I've seen from the Ohio EPA and the same people that monitor our plant would be monitoring their plant. Um, I don't doubt uh, what they would do as far as staying on top of them. People get out and vote just because uh, you know it is it is the right thing to do. This is this is deciding uh, the future of your city, uh, not only for the position of manager, but we also have other council positions open right now. Um, I think in the last three years we have we have shown that we're making strides and, and we're doing we're getting things accomplished. Uh, we're not just talking about things. Um, we're, we're actually doing them. Uh, it takes us a, it takes a while through government um, to get some of these things done. For instance, this paving project was something I talked about when I first came into office and it took two years to put that whole plan together. The different steps we have to go through at the wastewater treatment plant and, and the different things that we've done in all the departments have all take time. But after these three years, we're finally seeing all that work that we did come to fruition and we're, we're seeing houses come down, we're seeing roads being paved, we're seeing improvements being done at our wastewater treatment plant. I think these last three years, um, we, we've accomplished uh, quite a bit because there is there is communication between my office and, and city council. Um, one of the goals that myself and the president of council, Mr. Duker, had coming in office was staying off the front page of the paper uh, compared to what our last administrations have done. And I think we've done a good job of that. Um, council doesn't always agree with, with what I want to have done, nor do I agree with what they want to have done all the time but we're professional about it. We have constructive debate rather than yelling and screaming. I don't think we've had one of those types of uh, incidents on council floor or even in, in private discussions with anybody. Um, we respect each other and, and I think that goes a long way. But I think the, the, big, um, the big missing component uh, that we put into place was that communication. Uh, I'm constantly talking with the president of council and other council members about what's going on, keeping them up to date uh, when we have things of importance that they're going to be getting calls about, rather than hiding it or having them be blindsided on the street by it. I think just doing that uh, has opened up those lines of communication uh, and has, has definitely helped our, our image for, for our council.